Live recording can get pretty noisy. Thankfully, processing this audio is feasible and it essentially involves math. On the International Music Day 2022, let's discuss an intriguing application of math in music. When music producers and audio engineers encounter noises in soundtracks, they fix it using the digital audio workstation or DAW. Behind just a few clicks on an editing software is a popular math concept in action, something we call Fourier transform. Let's look at the textbook definition of this concept. Fourier transform is a mathematical tool used to decompose complicated waveforms into simpler elemental waves. It's widely used to manipulate and understand signals and forms the basis of audio and image signal processing, power distribution and even research. Blah, 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 blah. Let me make it more interesting for you though. While processing audio to remove noise, this is what really happens in the back end. When we take a closer look at an audio recording, it is actually the combination of multiple single frequency sound waves and a single frequency wave would look somewhat like this. While recording your audio, the combination of signals coming from instruments, vocals and background together gets recorded and you get the resultant amplitude of these waves. Let's look at the math behind these waves now. A resultant wave can be represented as a non-uniform graph of amplitude with respect to time. Let's call this Y. For the sake of simplicity, let's say the raw file you have is a resultant of three pure nodes. Let's name them Y1, Y2 and Y3. And suppose Y1 is an annoying high pitch sound you want to eliminate. To do so, your software has to first decompose Y into its constituent frequencies Y1, Y2 and Y3. And that's where FFT or the fast Fourier transform comes into play. When you pass your raw file through the editing software, it employs FFT to convert your signal from a time domain to a frequency domain. So the graph you get after the transform would be an amplitude versus frequency graph as opposed to amplitude time graph we had earlier. Once that happens, the software can easily identify Y1, Y2, Y3 distinctly. It's even more fascinating that all this is happening in the background of the software that music producers or audio engineers use daily to create those beautiful songs. Now to filter out the annoying high pitch sound, all the software does is attenuate the peak Y1. Finally, the software performs an inverse Fourier transform of the manipulated signal to give you a recording devoid of all the noise. Amazing, right? That's the math behind removing the noise from audio signals. But Fourier transforms are applicable in a lot of different areas too. Can you guess where else in sound processing can this concept be applied? Comment below and we'll give you a well-deserved shout out. Amazing, right? This is one of the many practical applications of math in the field of music. To learn more through such interesting examples, like and follow our page.